Hello, beloved. It is I, Mary Magdalene, coming to you today on the celebration of my ascension. It brings so much joy to my heart that all of you have come to find me. And this shows me where you are collectively at on your ascension journey. I'd like to invite you to join me as I assist you in healing your soul, allowing you to step into grace, to truth, just invite you to breathe me in, breathe in my essence and release all that no longer serves you. Placing your hands on your heart and on your womb or your stomach, divine children of this universe, children of the one. You are currently going through very heavy testing and initiations And it has seemed to be daunting as you have been journeying for quite some time alone. The current structures of your systems are being shut down. Now it is time for you to journey as I did with Mother Mary and Yeshua's grandmother. As we set sail after Yeshua's ascension. It is time for you all to journey on your pilgrimage to a life that is far different than the one that you have come from. And on this journey, there will be storms. The water will be rough. But it is important for you to remember to hold your focus and your alignment with where it is that we are going. Do not wobble in your faith. Allow yourself to cling to us. As the storms on your planet are getting incredibly intense, hold faith. All that is evil that has been hidden is coming to the surface because as long as it is hidden, it is strong. When it is recognized, it is dissolved. When it is revealed, it dies. So do not allow your eyes to go blind. Hold your sight on God. Hold your sight on your purpose and intention for this life. This year has brought an intense initiation around your integrity, your clarity, your faith, and your ability to hold prosperity. These initiations have come to see if you are ready, for your chalice has been turned upside down because you have not yet learned to allow yourself to breathe and drink in emotions, transmute them and breathe out love. Your chalice has needed to be upside down to not allow for things to get stuck inside of you for too long. When you allow yourself to walk through your healing path, healing all that creates a resonance within you, then it will be time for you to turn that holy chalice upright so that you may hold the strong foundation and the inheritance of your birthright. As long as you hold to your 
false ideas of control, manipulation, domination, power over others, and feeling like a victim to this life, to this purpose, and allowing yourselves to be out of alignment with your integrity from a state of fear. So I ask you, dear children, where in your life needs to be uprooted? And when you are uprooting these evils within your life, are you digging down and getting the roots, or are you just cutting it off at the base for it to grow again? Now is the time for you to consciously choose, to choose what path you are here to walk and embody. It is time for you to come into your body, to be here now, to be the presence. And as you awaken, as you journey through this, this path of awakening, you have found yourself attracted to my presence during your initiation of the dark night. And this is when you ask for my presence to be with you. This is when you took the time to stop being distracted by the outside and you started to listen. And as that divine feminine awakens within you, I understand how this has been confusing upon your planet with gender. As the divine feminine within each and every one of you awakens first, and the masculine collective that doesn't allow for the divine feminine to awaken first will always be asleep. But I assure you, do not discount them. For the divine masculine who truly steps in to allow himself to become one with the divine feminine, to allow himself to surrender, thinking he knows how, to listen to the whispers of the spirits, to allow himself to go into nature, to sit under that Bodhi tree, to harmonize with the divine feminine aspects of all that is. I assure you that there is no hierarchy. It is a simple choice. And as we lived closer to God in other lifetimes, never yet experiencing this level of density. For when we've come before, we have lived more sacred, harmonious unions with God. Never have we ever been so far removed and separated and at this level of density so I assure you, dear children, no matter what it is that you perceive to judge yourself for, allow me to release this from you now. You have nothing to judge yourself for. The only mistake is to continue journeying down the path of darkness and illusion and separation, and giving your power away, not allowing yourself to awaken and embody as heaven on earth. For those of you that have experienced confusion around gender identity, this is simply an initiation upon your path. In other lifetimes, we've come and we've had feminine energy in feminine bodies and our awakening or our initiation was to walk with grace and love. And then we've come in other lifetimes when we've been masculine with masculine energy and mastered that walk. And this lifetime is about mastering the unity. It is about being fully human, which is masculine and feminine in equal parts, and then fully divine. And it is about this sacred union with inside of yourself. Understand that you are your twin flame. You are the threefold flame that exists within your heart space. It is through the awakening of 
the Christ. As Yeshua comes to love the hell out of your soul, this initiation that awakens the divine feminine parts of us. And in that love that we awaken for Yeshua, it allows for us to have a deep and sacred reverence for our divine feminine. And then that allows for that beautiful rose to blossom, bloom, and flourish, allowing us to see the Christ in the masculine and in the feminine allowing us to take sacred unions. And I know that for some of you that have been in these sacred unions, that have felt like something has gone terribly wrong because you have found yourself in these deep and passionate soul connections. And then every trial and tribulation, every stuck emotion, every fear, every lack, every program, every pattern, every story came to the surface. And you thought that something had gone wrong. But I assure you, dear children, this is simply your initiation of the labyrinth. This is deeper than the dark night of the soul, for it is the one that you journey together. And it is through your harmony and your ability to find compassion and unity and seeing the Christ in your partner that gets you through to the other side. And I know that this world has taught you that if something isn't going easy to give up on it. And it has also taught you to give away your sovereignty it has taught you to give away your worthiness and so often you attract partners who make you feel similar to how you felt in childhood no matter what the situations were it is time to grow past blaming and shaming the way that you were raised or the things that have happened to you in order to evolve past these initiations, we have to be willing to take ownership for all that we've experienced. It is not simply just about forgiving those who have trespassed against us. It is to see what is, and if it is your experience, if it is in your reality, then you are responsible. It is only when we are willing to look at this evil can it die, uprooted, pulling out the weeds so that it may no longer grow in your garden. As that divine union within and without manifests in your life, I hear so many of you clinging to these outside relationships and thinking that you have a divine mission with them and holding on to dead fruit, not allowing it to be transmuted, holding on to what's not working instead of taking your responsibility and accountability and allowing for that internal journey, allowing for what is manifesting on the outside to show you where you're holding fear, where you are holding doubt, where you are holding density, where you are holding self-hatred. It is not the other person's job to fix it. It is time for us to stop crucifying ourselves and others. It is time to stop thinking that by creating rules and having a false level of control, that that is safety. As Yeshua said, go and preach the gospel about the kingdom but don't lay down any rules beyond what I've given you, nor make laws like lawgivers, lest you be bound by it. Every time we set unattainable goals or rules or laws for ourselves and others, we bind ourselves to this physical dimension. When we rise above this world, we can no longer be bound by it. So whatever is going on in your life, what are you giving your power away to? What are you making your idol, your false god? Don't fear the flesh and bones. Don't fear the physical, or it will rule you. It will master you. 
And if you allow yourself to love this physical realm, you'll be swallowed and choked by it. This simply means that this life is to be experienced, but not worshipped or attached to. Understand that with every desire that you have, it is a desire to draw the Holy Spirit into you, to be closer to God. Every time that you love, every time that you lack and desire, it is a desire to be closer to my Holy Presence. So whether you are walking this labyrinth with a divine counterpart, or seemingly by yourself, it is important that this part of your journey, it is about understanding the symbolic nature of everything that you're experiencing, to face the inner challenges and find your way towards the spiritual truth of all that is. If you're finding yourself having issues in your relationships, go inside, take space. Don't bind yourself to another thinking that you need them in order to journey this labyrinth. I assure you that the moment that you cling, that everything that you fear will draw near. So release. Remember, every emotion, it only lasts 90 seconds. And if you can allow yourself to surrender what it is that you are holding on to, you will no longer be taken under by the undertow when that wave comes up, allowing it to wash over you, and then go right back out. And just allow yourself to gently move with the rhythms of the tides in the ocean and staying focused on that center point, that light calling you forward. Noticing when things are coming up to fear, noticing when trials and tribulations are up. It is not to bypass your lessons, for if you don't learn those lessons, you are destined to repeat them. So by focusing on that center point and not overcoming your lessons, it is just like chopping down that tree at the base without getting the roots. It is one thing to take accountability and to do something to shift it, to take action, to heal, to learn, to find the deeper spiritual meanings. And it is another to bypass, to say that that doesn't belong to me and I don't want to look at it because it's lowering my vibration. That is separation consciousness. That is a sin. Your path and purpose is to feel and know your connection and your oneness to all that is. You've all hit a choice point this year. And whether that choice point came up as a financial crisis, a health crisis, a relationship crisis, a career crisis, a belief system crisis. Understand that this came up to show you that you can no longer pass go on the road that you've been on. There's some things that you have been bypassing or living out of alignment and integrity with the truth of your soul. Just as in the alchemical process of the divine masculine and feminine, in this life, we've all taken on different names. Those who have harmed us in previous and parallel lifetimes and those that we have harmed have come in as our blood family, our partners, our children. And this is for the ultimate initiation of Christ consciousness. Can you take accountability and teach them how to love as you do? Can you love them while they're hurting you without allowing yourself to be sacrificed? Can you stand up for your truth? Do you know your worthiness? Where are you giving your power away? 
Where are you worshipping false idols? Where are you still holding yourself as a victim? Where are you telling yourself that someone else is more capable than you? Playing small because you're still holding fear of being persecuted. Now is the time to step into truth. The next initiation will show you your immortality. And in this stage, you will connect to the eternal aspect of your being. It is to live the resurrection. So I invite you to understand that if the water is rough on your journey and it is causing you to doubt and grow faithless, allow this to be your meditation bell, your strength that you pull in through your crown, down your spine, to sit at the base of your spine, to give you strength as you journey forward, activating that cosmic fire within. For those of you that feel ready to turn your chalice right side up so that you may hold all that you breathe in and alchemize it and transmute, release, to allow you to be rooted and grounded in this physical dimension, to hold prosperity, to hold a solid foundation. Doing this too soon will cause pain. You will hold on to things that, that are not for you. So notice if it is difficult for you to release in this stage after you turn it right side up, that it is your power and you are able to turn it and dump it back out. And just tuning in to your womb and for the masculine embodiment, you can turn into your stomach and just feeling this beautiful, holy, sacred chalice. Is it flipped upside down or is it right side up? You can pull it out and look at it. Allow yourself to bring in this beautiful, healing, white light allowing it to purify, alchemize, and just wash that beautiful holy chalice clean. Sparkling diamond light. Mm. There's a reason why when the Prince of Peace comes that he is to find no resonance in us. So notice if there's things coming up that are triggering you. It is not the other person, it is not the situation. It is a holy miracle that is allowing you to see what has been hidden. It is allowing you to see what you are ready to heal, to complete, to release. The judgments that you've been carrying. It is time for forgiveness. It is time for love. It is time for grace. It is time for divine faith. And putting that beautiful holy chalice back into your embodiment. And tuning into your heart space, you're all being called to journey forward. Listen to what your heart is calling for. If you don't know what it is, I invite you to spend time out in nature without distractions. Leave your phone, leave all electronics. Just go out in nature. Take your shoes off. If you are with other people, allow yourself to sit in silence for at least one day and just listen. Every time the thoughts come up, surrendering them down into the core of the earth to be transformed. And just listen. When the guidance comes in, it will feel like a calm, distant echo in the wind. Notice when you go to cling when that guidance comes in. And when that guidance comes in, you can gently tune your radio dial and set your frequency so that you can hear that guidance on a daily basis. And I invite you every single day to wake up, to not allow the thoughts to cloud your judgment, 
to go outside to connect with the sun, to breathe that sunlight in through every single cell in your body, breathing it down through your crown, down your spine, down your legs, and out your feet, bringing that light from the sun down into the crystalline core of this earth, allowing yourself to be the pillar of heaven on earth that you were born and created to be. It is this one task that you have every single day that is your path, that is your purpose, it is to just be the light, to bring that light inside of you and to bring that light down to the core of the earth and allow that light to touch all that lives. And so it is. And so it is done. Beloved, I love you. It's time to come home. It is I, Mary Magdalene. I am always with you.